I had the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Lorraine Day, who is not only a doctor, was a cancer patient and has cured herself. Great. So she has a lot to say. So I'm going to just throw the floor to you. You say that everyone uh, can cure themselves, yes. essentially. Absolutely. The cure for cancer has been found. We don't need to donate for the cancer research. The cure for cancer has been found. It is always involved with the way we live, think, act, eat, and handle stress. We give cancer to ourselves. And I had one woman say to me one time, she said, well, I would, I would never give cancer to myself. I have children. Well, I have children too, but we're all stupid, okay? Doctors are just as stupid as everybody else. And I gave myself cancer, not on purpose. I was ignorant. And as I have said in my talks over and over again, doctors know nothing about health, nothing. We're not taught anything about health. We're not taught much about disease either. Fortunately, that's why I became a trauma surgeon because if you're shot, stabbed, or run over, you need someone like me to put you together. But the rest of the doctors give out drugs or they cut out your organs or cut off your body parts. Well, I developed breast cancer in 1993 and I knew that I did not develop breast cancer because I had too many breasts. So cutting one or both of them off would not cure me. That's something Angelina Jolie has not learned yet, okay? Uh, so what we have to do is we have to change the factors that caused our cancer. Cancer is not genetic except what we do to our own genes. We don't get it from our parents and grandparents. They may have had cancer, but we get cancer if, if we live, eat, and handle stress like our mothers and grandmothers did, we'll develop the same diseases. Sure, mimicry is not a good idea. Right, and all we have to do is change those factors and we can get well. And that's what I did. Now I had a long, hard struggle. I kept getting worse for two years. I refused all chemotherapy. I refused all radiation because they cause cancer. Every doctor knows that. But you see, if we doctors treat a cancer patient with anything other than those things, we'll lose our license. So I put all of my information on my books and DVDs and CDs, which I'm allowed to do uh, without losing my license, and teach people how to do it at home. At home is the best place to get well anyway. And, but you have to study. You see, people go to school for nine months or a year to, turn, to learn how to be a hairstylist or to learn how to be a barber. But somehow they think your health should be automatic, but it's not. We are destroying ourselves by the way we're eating, living, and handling stress. So you have to learn how not to do that. Once you learn how to do that, you can be well for the rest of your life. And, and I developed cancer, I said in 1993, this is now, I mean, 1993, this is 2017. I am totally well cancer-free. I have been cancer-free for over 20 years. And not only that, I'm 80 years old. That's amazing. That's <laughs> I'm 80 years amazing. old. I still play tennis. I still, I still play basketball. I still run. My joints are fine. I have no arthritis. I take no medications. I have no diseases. I never get colds. I never get the flu. I'm totally well because of the way I live, think, act, eat, and handle stress. And I don't have a lot of wrinkles because, you see, uh, what's the difference between a plum and a prune? It is water. Well, it's not just the lack of drinking water, it's the way you dehydrate your, dehydrate your body by eating animal products, which contain no water and no fiber, uh, by drinking caffeine, which uh, takes more water out of your body than comes in with the drink, by uh, drinking caffeinated soda, by drinking alcohol, and by having stress, not learning how to handle your stress, because stress is very dehydrating to the body. So you can really boil it down to cancer and all other diseases are caused by malnutrition, even if you're overweight, you're not eating the right stuff. Malnutrition, dehydration, and stress. And those are the things that you have to address in order to get well. So, I mean, it sounds sort of simple, but it's not easy because people do not want to let go of these habits that are actually killing them. And they say things like, well, I don't like to drink water. And I say, well, what does that have to do with it? You're grown up now. You're not four years old anymore. So you say, well, I don't like this. Well, that's what you used to do. And mama said, well, you have to drink it. But now you're grown up. So you say, you don't have to drink it. No, go ahead and die. This is what's going to happen if you don't live, eat, and handle stress the proper way. Who wants to be sick? I used to be sick. People say, well, now that you're well, you ought to be able to go back and live like you did before. I don't want to go do that and be sick again. Right. You see, and I also had, a year before I was diagnosed with cancer, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's. I had a pretty severe tremor and other symptoms. When I got well from the cancer, all the Parkinson's symptoms went away too. And that's when I realized they're all caused by the same things. They're all lifestyle factors. And so as I, as I say frequently, doctors try to kill cancer 
by giving you poisons and radiating you, all stuff that causes cancer and harms your body. What I did is I deprived the cancer cells of what they needed to grow. I deprived them of the sugar, which paralyzes your immune system so the cancer can grow. I ate the good food, which didn't give them all of the cholesterol and the fat and all that that's in animal products. I deprived them of the um, cortisol that's produced in the body when you don't handle stress well and we're always stressed out. You have to learn how to forgive everybody who's ever wronged you. You have to give up anger and grudge holding and resentment and worry and fear. And you know, people like to think about revenge and they say, well, I'm going to get that person back. And it's kind of like a feast where you roll it over your tongue and it feels so good to think about it. But the skeleton at the feast is you. And I had to learn how to give that up. And I'd been through, through some pretty rotten stuff in my life. Uh, <clears throat> I, I really gave myself cancer in large part because being a trauma surgeon, I loved what I was doing, but I wasn't getting any sleep. I've operated 72 hours straight, many times with no, no food except sugar and, um, and coffee and, and uh, no sleep. Uh, and this kills you, but I went through a really bad marriage and divorce and a custody battle for my children, which fortunately I won. But I was angry, and in human terms, I had a right to be angry. Mm -hmm. But I had to give that up. I had to write a letter to my ex-husband, whose girlfriend was living in our summer home while he was married to me, and ask for forgiveness for being so angry. Now, I don't endorse what he did, but I had to give that up and not hold on to it in order to get well. Nobody ever talks about those things. Those things are very destructive to your body. And so I had to get rid I had to write a letter to his girlfriend. Ooh, you were busy. Oh, but it was hard. <laughs> that was a lot harder than changing my diet or getting out in the sun or drinking the water. Those were hard things to do. But you have to do them or you can't get well. It makes such good sense, yeah. what you're saying, and yeah. starve the bad cancer. Starve the that cancer makes... cells so they just don't have the, the, um, the nourishment that they need, which is all bad stuff, to get well. And as I said, my tumor was gigantic. And uh, it, it grew from the size of a marble to a large grapefruit in three weeks. And the pictures are amazing. And it was the, attached to my chest from one side to the other. It was this big pyramid coming up here. And it was terribly, terribly painful. But as I learned, and I was sick for two years, I was bedridden for six months. At one point, I was not expected to live through the night. And when I really understood all the 10 points of the plan, again, all everything in the plan is free except for food, and you have to buy that anyway. And anybody who wants to find out how I get well, go to my website at drday.com, D-R-D-A-Y.com. And once I started on the plan, it took me 18 months to get well. And, but it had uh, taken you a lifetime to get that sick. Oh, right? I can look back so. 30 years and see the stuff. You know, then if you're having this symptom, you just take something over the counter and you do this. But I can look back and see that I was developing this cancer for a long period of time. But then, it, fortunately, it takes less time to get well than it took to make yourself sick. But to tell you how sick I was, in 18 months, my cancer was gone. And, and my cancer was gone in actually eight months. And then it took me another 10 months to regain my strength to be well enough to work, you know, at a desk and, and, and drive and all that. I was too weak to drive and everything before that. Sure. And then in order to go to the gym, because I had been, I worked out all of my life, but in order to go to the gym and my, my uh, goal was I wasn't going to go to the gym until I could sit up on an exercise bench by myself without rolling myself over on my hands and knees and getting up because I would be embarrassed. Three years it took. Wow. After I was well. So you had to learn patience along the way learn as well. Learn patience and yeah. I had to realize how sick I had been. Three years it took me to get well enough to sit up on an exercise bench by myself. And so, I mean, I really went to the end of my life and back. So I know that, that you can get well from cancer, but it's not what you take. People always say, oh, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take that. It's not that. You have to change everything about your life. And when you do, you can be just as well as I am and have, I have the energy of a 30 year old, as you can see. Yes. <laughs> and I still work full time. 
Um, I still run, I still play tennis, I still do all of these things. I have no aches or pains anywhere. I take no medication, nothing. You're phenomenal. You're phenomenal. <laughs> but everybody can be this way. And, that, and tell us how. What is in your... Uh, the proper nutrition, yes. totally vegan diet, no animal products, and I tell you in my materials why. Proper nutrition, exercise, water. Water is extremely important. The body is 75% water, the brain is 85% water. You cannot dehydrate your body and expect to get well. And so it's um, uh, sunlight. Sunlight decreases uh, the size of internal cancerous tumors. It lowers high blood pressure, it lowers resting heart rate, it boosts your immune system. It does not cause skin cancer for reasons that I show in my materials. Um, so sunlight, fresh air. Cancerous tumors grow twice as fast if you're breathing indoor air as if you're breathing outdoor air. By the way, exercise. A woman can reduce her risk of breast cancer by almost 70% by one thing that's free, and that's four hours of exercise a week. Wow. And that's this very is all doable. free. Oh, yeah. Four hours of exercise a week is nothing. Right. So then, and then you've got to get proper rest at the proper time of night. The healing hormones are produced between 10 p.m. and 2, but you've got to be asleep. So you can't stay up all night and say, oh, well, I'll go to bed at 2 and I'll sleep till 10. Does it do it? Okay? you got to be in bed, I say, by 9.30 and asleep by 10 in order to get the benefit of those healing hormones. And then you've got to have freedom from stress. And what does it, what does it take to grow a healthy garden? You've got to have sunlight, water, nutritious soil, and freedom from pests. You've got to have sunlight, water, nutrition, and freedom from stress in order to be well. It's the same thing we're supposed to eat from the garden. We're actually created out of the soil, and so we eat from the soil. People say, well, I've got to, I've got to uh, eat uh, you know, an animal to get my vitamin B12. Well, vitamin B12 actually is in vegetables. Where does the cow get it? It eats right. grass, okay? Why don't we just eat the green leafy vegetables? Uh, vitamin B12 is in barley, and it's in sea vegetables, it's in a number of things, that we, which is all in my book. Um, and, and, and my uh, starter package. And so why, why do you want to eat your food secondhand? Oh, I've got to eat the cow because the cow eats well. Well, why don't you eat well? So then you've got to learn how to forgive everybody who's ever wronged you and all of the spiritual things. You've got to believe in God and not man. No he doctor has created a single human body, not one, all right? Mm -hmm. And God has created billions of them, including yours. And who knows how to get them well better than that? And again, as I say, I was an agnostic for all of my adult life. I was not a Christian. I, I had no interest in God. <clears throat> but when you're in the foxhole and dying, uh, then and you've exhausted everything else, 40 different types of alternatives. And I, as a doctor, already knew that chemotherapy and radiation and, and, and mutilating surgery do not cure you. Because you see, if you have your breast cut off, you say, oh, well, the tumor's gone. Yeah, but you're still doing all the things that caused it in the first place, so you'll just get cancer either in the same place or the other breast. Why do you get it in the other breast? Because you still keep doing the things that caused it in the first place, or you'll develop cancer someplace else, or you'll develop a different life-threatening disease. Yeah. So you've got to go. See, drugs only address symptoms. They don't address the underlying cause of the disease. So you've got to do that by changing the way you live, think, act, eat, and handle stress. And Nobody has to develop cancer, and, and if you do, you can get well just like I did. You are an amazing example <laughs> to so many, and so how can they get your package? Go to my website at drday.com, Dr. Day, just D-R-D-A-Y, no period after the doctor, drday.com, or you can call 760-343-0965, that's 760-343-0965 and you can get all my materials, go to my website, you'll see there's a lot of free information. I've got a lot of articles there that you can read, such as your doctor can't cure your cancer because he can't cure his own. Uh, okay. Oh, well said. <laughs> um, so, and how much is your package? Uh, it's $160. If you buy these, again, it contains four DVDs, four books, and six CDs. If you buy them individually, they cost about $215. If you buy them as a package, you get a $55 discount. And for $160, which includes shipping and handling anywhere in the United States, you can be well for the rest of your natural long life. Okay, I have to go now because I have to go order. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so Thank much. You, you were a Thank pleasure. You. Thank, Thank you. you.